The story of the Institute of Mathematical Sciences begins in Ekamra Nivas, the home of the Aladi family, where in the 1950s, Aladi Ramakrishnan gathered around him a group of young physicists. The theoretical physics seminar, as the meetings were called, discussed outstanding problems of the day in stochastic processes, mathematical physics and nuclear physics. The bridge to research in particle physics was built in these seminars. Scientists of international repute would visit Ekamra Nivas and speak at the seminars. One such visitor in 1960 was Niels Bohr, the Nobel Prize winning physicist and founder of quantum mechanics. Impressed with the group, he commended them to Prime Minister Nehru. The idea of an institute devoted to research in theoretical physics gained ground and led in 1962 to the founding of the Institute of Mathematical Sciences. Today, it is amongst the top institutions in India in mathematical sciences. has definitely played a major role in the development of mathematics and in the development of physics in this part of this country. The three streams of theoretical physics, mathematics and theoretical computer science represent areas of foundational research that are lived, developed and understood in a uniquely fluid and interdisciplinary way. Great things about this institute is that there is no barrier. I mean, you ask me which department they belong to. We have no concept of departments. This institute is for convenience. We recognize three disciplines, but not a separate department. We have nothing called head of the department, for example. This concept doesn't exist here. It's very foreign to us. The physicists and the mathematicians and the computer science talk to each other all the time. And there are actually some joint work which has taken place between the physicists and the uh, uh, mathematicians as well as the mathematicians and the computer scientists and so on and so forth. I mean we talk to each other and there are students of computer science which attend lectures in mathematics and there are students of mathematics who attend a few interesting lectures in computer science and the, these all things is something which is unique for us. Uh, you, you go to coffee lounge and then you are having coffee, you are not thinking about anything and then someone from different totally different uh, research area comes to you and starts saying something and then you start relating this to your research and then, I mean, then something interesting comes to your mind and it clicks. For example, I can quote about cryptology, okay, which of course is something between the mathematics and the computer science or something about the Indus Valley writing okay, where the science could be brought along with the linguistic facilities or something about mathematical biology which we are starting, which again needs both mathematics, physics and computer science along with the biology. These are the things in which this institute can take a lead more than others because they are of the interdisciplinary in nature. From its near pastoral setting to its enviable student-teacher ratio, the institute has over time become synonymous with a teaching method that encourages original thought, offers complete freedom and is guided by a deep student-teacher friendship. Of course we encourage excellence but at the same time we um, want to nurture uh, what this, the talent of the student without being overbearing, without always looking um, breathing down the shoulder uh, 
of you know um, so imposing our ideas on students um, uh, we'd like to uh, let them grow uh, and create the atmosphere and the necessary groundwork for it every director of IMSC that I have seen since 87 which was my when I first joined this institute has actually allowed this freedom to flourish in a very specific and conscious way. So it's a small group and the small group is, uh, it makes us very, very closely knit. We have been able to produce students who are as good as, if not better, produced in any other organization in India. The students are very good. The only thing which I would probably say is that uh, here, I would definitely think that the, the closeness or the interaction between the guide and the students is somewhat more thicker and more informal than the formal things that is going on in other places. In the in the interview, like in my interview, the way that the professor asking the question and like, I mean it, it went like for more than one hour and like the first question they asked, I was not able to answer properly. And then, then they, they started helping me and, and the way they are asking the question and then the way they are helping me. I mean, it, it somehow showed me like the kind of insight and the kind of uh, like work environment I'll get here. The vibrant teaching feeds into a vigorous research program where research apprentices, doctoral students and postdoctoral fellows work with the institute faculty to pursue open problems in physics, mathematics and computer science. An outstanding library and a state-of-the-art high-performance computing facility are always at the service of the Institute research community. Research from the Institute is published in the very best of academic journals such as Science and Physical Review Letters and presented to a non-academic audience in newspaper articles and in popular science magazines like The Scientific American, Physics Today and Physics World. Not only is the Institute faculty invited to speak at prestigious international events, but the students of the Institute also participate. Such visits are often supported by the organizers. Former students of the Institute hold high-ranking positions in academia and some in industry as well. My aim is to learn something different which I never learned before, something new uh, that will help me uh, to understand this field, like num number theory, this field better. Well, like the, the, the faculties here are very much into research. So, like when when they are teaching, you know, they will give you a research insight. If you go to other institute, you study there, they'll be like, I mean, they, they are good, but then they, they, there is a difference between a research uh, bent and then a teaching bent. So, like here, if, if you, they'll teach you something, they'll give you the insight which you'll not find in books and all. It will be very hard for you to find a friendlier place than this to do, to pursue uh, a PhD in mathematics or, uh, or even as a faculty member to continue the research work and to grow. I think it's one of the best uh, research environments that I've seen in all, amongst all the centers that I have visited uh, during the last 20-25 years. Over and above that, it has an extremely open atmosphere in terms of interaction between groups of people, uh, between many different kinds of groups of people um, within faculty, faculty and students, faculty and administration and so on. When asked what made the Institute a centre of learning with a heart, everyone talked of the nurturing role the administration department played. The administration is very good here, I means the people sitting are here are very helpful and interactive means always you will feel like it's your home, means they are already always there to help us. Especially in any scientific organization, the administration should not be administration. It should be uh, associated and it should assist the scientists and the faculty of the institute. We should learn their language. A language that combines reason with imagination and one that the institute spreads through its many outreach programs. Whether it's engaging with rural schools and colleges, editing and publishing the longest running children's science magazine in the country, or facilitating innovative science camps, 
The Institute of Mathematical Sciences Outreach Program holds a pride of place. All these things are possible essentially because my colleagues seem to feel that it is their institute. I mean, my colleagues feel, okay, this is the institute of which I am a part of. Okay, therefore, this is my institute. Half a century later, the Institute of Mathematical Sciences is every bit as curious, every bit as adventurous as it was when it started out with those passionate discussions at Aladi Ramakrishnan's home. It still seeks to understand the world. It still seeks to share the knowledge it creates. If I were a student, uh, then it would be, uh, today, I, math science would be right up there on my list. It's not enough for the student to know just the narrow discipline, narrow, narrow sub-area of, of physics where he or she will be working, but a minimal, broad exposure to uh, advanced uh, theoretical physics to call himself or herself as a theoretical physicist first and then a specialist. And the student community is also very vibrant. So these are things which attract potential students also. That they see the students who are already here are doing very well, not just in terms of the way their research is progressing, but that they are happy in the setting in which they are. This institution really is creating a wealth for future generations of this country. Mm -hmm.